wow, I can see we have visitors in our class today. Are you happy to have visitors? Let's sing the song we normally sing for visitors. We welcome, we welcome your visitors in our class. It is a pleasant day. We welcome visitors here. We welcome, we welcome, we welcome visitors here. So are you happy to have visitors around? I'm happy and excited and especially the day when we are doing counting in twos backward. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Do you remember how we were counting numbers in twos in the forward direction? Someone tell me, what did we say when we count forward in twos? What are we doing? When we count forward, uh -huh, continue, we are increasing. When we count forward, we are increasing. We are increasing. If I had two, I will have four. Very good. And if I have four, I will have six. Nice. Now, today we want to see how we can now count these numbers in twos but in the backward direction. So, if forward we are increasing, what about backward? What about backward? What about backward? Backward we are reducing. Reducing or decreasing. Or decreasing. So, when I'm told, teacher, I have these numbers, but I cannot write them backward. You just go back to our numbers. Our numbers were 1, 2, up to number 20. Now, this one had been given this number. Let's see. 10, 8, dash, and dash. This is the, the question that Janet gave me this morning and told me, teacher, I can't find the answer. Then I asked Janet, do you remember what we did? She told me, yes, I remember we were increasing when we were counting forward. I told him, now, is this counting forward? Do we leave 10 and then go to 8? told me, no, that is now going behind. So let us find out what happened here. What happened between 10 and 8? Remember, from 10, when you're counting from 8, we increased. Remember, this is our 8. This is our 10. So what number is in between? Let us use the zigzag method. So we say the number between is 8, then here, 9, and then 10. Are you saying? Now, let's do the same to the remaining numbers. Now I have my two zigzag here. If this number is 9 and this is 8, which number will be here? 9, 8, hey, we continue backwards, we said 10, 9, up, down. Are we together? When you're talking about down, we are decreasing. So we are saying 10, 9, 8, so the missing number here is 7. Very good. So the 7 is down, but now we have not gotten our answer here. So we are saying from 8, you go to 7, then which number pops out? Look at 8, we have 7 here. So which number will follow? It is 6. Very good. Then we go down from 6, which number follows? 6, we have a 5. Then from 5, we go up. So the number up here is 4. So what is the missing number? It was 10. 8, 6, and 4. Remember our rule. We said our rule, you must have a 4, you must have a 6, you must have an 8, you must have a 10. But sometimes they can give you numbers that do not follow like this. For example, they write for me here, 13, uh -huh. they put a dash, then they put 11, they put 10, then they put a dash, and they are telling me, Fill in the missing numbers. And you're there asking yourself, now what will happen? Just go back to your numbers. Just go back to your numbers and ask yourself, my starting number is 13. So from 13, I am counting. Am I counting going forward or am I going backward? So we are saying in this way, when the arrow points like this, this is forward. But when the arrow points going like this, it is backward. So once you are at the starting number, ask yourself, which number is missing? So I have a 13. Very good. So before 13, 
which number should be there? The 12 appears there. Then we are saying after 13, we have 12, then 12, we go to 11, then 11, we come to 10, and which number is after 10? It is 9. So who has any problem in counting numbers going forward in ones, going backward in ones, going forward in twos, and going backward in twos? Any problem? Now, if you don't have any problem, can you do this simple exercise? Fill in the missing numbers. Here I have 3, then I have 2 dashes there. Number 2, I have Number three, I have, and number four, I have, so who can help us do this work? We are saying it is as simple as, as simple as ABC, as simple as ABC. Just go back to your numbers you had written and ask yourself, I have three, I have four, I have five. So which number follows? We are counting one to 20. We are counting one to 20. We are counting one to 20. And this is how we count them. Three, four, five, six. So after that, I have a six and a seven. Then we are saying, then again count. We are counting one to 20. We are counting one to 20. We are counting. 1 to 20, and this is how we count them, 16, 15, 14. So you will find that the missing number here is 14. Then we said, when we come to counting in twos, the rule remains. The number must have a 2, the number must have a 4, the number must have a 6, and the number must have an, yes, 8. So we are saying these ones we are increasing by 2. So when it, we reach at 8, we again increase 8 by 2 and we get a 10. Then we say backward is reducing. Backward is reducing. So from 20, we count 20, then 19. 18, then 17. 16, then 15. So the missing number there is 14, then 13. And the missing number again is 12. Any problem up to there? You're going to do this practice using different numbers. You're going to use it 3, in 4s, in 5s. So it is you to make sure you stick to this lesson. Hope to see you next in the next lesson. Thank you very much.